IVC, Dale Gatefield 33 here. So this, um, it could be an epic fail or it could be a blinding success. I'm going to try and attempt to break the world thread response um, record um, for combining thread responses in a single video. So um, this single video, I'm going to show 25 albums. Uh, and this is a, a four way response video. So I will be showing um, well, these of these, these 25 albums will have great covers to, to, to respond to Mazzy's great covers. And um, you'll see in a minute, uh, they're not my greatest, but they're great. Okay, I'm breaking your rules, Mazzy. You break everyone else's. So they're going to be great covers. They are all artists who have f first made albums um, since 2010 and beyond. And the first 15 that I show will be responding to um, AGK Vinyl Life's Anthony's Thread Stroke Contest to show 15 um, albums of artists who have made um, started making um, records since 2010. So that's second. Thirdly, um, the first 15 as well will be gatefolds. So I've managed to, and this has been the hard bit, find um, 15 artists that have made records from 2010 that have great covers that are gatefolds. That's the first 15. Then I've got 10 supplementary non-gatefolds um, because that gets me my 25 great albums but also then picks up on the fourth fourth um, leg of this, which is James Griffith's 10 psych songs. So I've picked 10 of these albums, at least are psych related, um, and I'm picking sort of my favorite song from those albums to do this James Griffith's 10 psych songs. Okay, with me so far? Okay, so, and I've got some notes because um, this has been, um, an undertaking. I'm going to put my notes without spilling my coffee and my drink and having somewhere to put the records. Let me just put that there. Okay, put my notes on my lap. So we're starting off, so as we go through, I, I hope to remember to mention the different the different aspects. So 25 great covers is, 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 is throughout. 15 gatefolds is, is the first 15. Um, 15, uh, all, all of them are artists from the 2010s. Um, so the first, let's, let's get on with it, Dale. Just get on with it, Dale. Okay. Um, so Black Star Riders, Anthony showed the Black Star Riders in his, his video. This is their, their first album. So Scott Gorham from Thin Lizzy. This is, I say, their first album. It's a gatefold. Um, I think you'll agree it's pretty impressive. Um, and um, yeah, they started in the 2010s, but it's not psych, so I don't need to mention a track on that one. My ever popular Josie and Clark and Ben Walker. This um, album is um, for the album, uh, what is it called? Overnight, um, which is um, a beautiful gatefold. Um, there they are, and they signed it for me when I went to see them live. Um, so that's that one. Next, this artist was in a band before the 2010s, but I think debut solo album was in the 2010s and beyond. Father John Misty, um, I Love You Honey Bear. Again, beautiful gatefold album. Um, Sight related, but I don't think I'm picking a song from this album, he says. Checking the list. Well, this is all gonna go horribly wrong in a minute. Um, next, striking album. So this is where I'm not, you know, this is a striking design. Um, and therefore to me a beautiful gatefold, a winged victory for the sullen, sort of um, uh, neoclassical drony um, instrumental. Um, again, I believe all these albums, they started making LPs, certainly according to the Rate Your Music website. I haven't done a Discogs search on these, so if, if, I'm, if I'm slightly out. Oh yeah, and by the way, Anthony, I've, I, if I do win your contest, um, I'm not going to pay the shipping cost that you mentioned, um, so um, you can draw someone else out. So 
this is um torpedas uh swedish i think swedish group maybe finnish swedish um psych um instrumental psych um and the reeds gatefold uh, and the reason this is so impressive is it's um it's kind of a textured almost like frost ice um tip on type sleeve so beautiful gatefold right okay we got a this is uh, temples and sun structures. Um, this is a nice. Oh, we got. Hang on, I've done something wrong. Here. It's a nice trifold, trifold sleeve. Um, there's the band. So they're kind of neo psych, um, garagey pop psyche. Um, and so the first of my psych songs, yeah, with my red pen, is Temple's yeah, Shelter Song from here. The opening track is a good um, sort of pop psych, um, uh, upbeat psych track. Next, WH Lung. Um, this is from last year, I think. So I was lucky enough to get on this early. I got the clear vinyl. 200 i think or 160 limited it came also came with an art an art print but the, the cover itself is a very beautiful gatefold cover i'll just put it down there i don't want to ruin the art print okay so still on the so this is a striking and i've seen shown this many times before Jeanne Monet, her debut album from 2010, Arch Android, um, really impressive. Um, it's a concept album and the gatefold kind of gives you some clue about the story of the concept. Um, but yeah, really impressive album and a great kind of new soul st style album. Okay, next we've got UK, I think it's UK jazz or certainly jazz anyway, uh, modern jazz, um, my shirt. Um, and the album There Is A Place um, from a year or two ago. Um, this was a bit of a bit of a VC fave at the time. So again, modern, impressive gatefold. This I showed earlier in one of my early videos this year. This is a 2020 release, um, Susan Kircher and Superfon. Um, so this is um, Psych. Psyche, um, love the artwork here, and I think, yeah, the track Hlavni Nadrazi. That's how you pronounce it. The one there um, is the song I'm picking out from that. So I've done two, two of my psych songs. Next up, Canoy. I've got lots of Canoy digitally. This is the only physical. I think it's only physical vinyl I've got. Canoy and Buru Hayes. Um, so this is an impressively designed. Um, does, normally it's instrumental, layered, textured guitar, drone, beautiful. Um, sort of the cover does say, um, and doesn't necessarily say you've got quite prolific in digital output. You can find on Bandcamp, Canoy. Um, and um, I've put Windchild um, from this album um, on, on the A side, um, which does have some vocals on it. Again, it's kind of dreamy dreamy um summery um summer evening type very mellow song number three Ooh. here we are gothic chicken um so this is a nice cover which has got this treescape with the band kind of drawn over it you can't really see it very well um, um yeah gothic chicken a kind of folk psych but quite impressive on the inside as well with the colors um um, that is folks like, but I haven't picked a song from there. Okay, let me just pause and put these records down for a sec before they go crash. Okay, on with the show. Next in the, still in the, we're still in the 15, 2010 or well, these are all 2010 artists plus um so nicholas godin he's done stuff before them with air so from the french band air 
but this was his first solo album um, and um, yeah really impressive it's got kind of like the tip on kind of um, blue going across the lips there um, um, yeah so Nicholas Godin um, so yeah very much if you're familiar with the band Air this is a kind of solo version of that that's done it a bit of a disservice um, next we have the Ghost of a Sabretooth Tiger, which um, is um, Sean Lennon and his partner. Oops. Um, and I'll take the record out there. It's on purple vinyl. But um, this is a really impressive um, oversized gatefold. Um, and um, yeah, this is kind of neo psych, um, pop psych. Um, and I have picked um, the title track Midnight Sun from that as one of my psych songs. Okay, next, an album I haven't shown yet in my recent finds, um, is, um, oops, I went the right way, Greg Fote. Um, so um, this uh, is a jazz, UK jazz album. Greg Fote is a keyboardist, um, uh, piano and um, uh, organ and uh, this is a say more of a jazz. He does quite a lot of funky library style stuff, but this is um, much more of a jazz. Really great album. It's called um, Symphonie Pacifique um, it's from the, from this year. But yeah, impressive gatefold sleeve. So I think that's my fifteen gatefolds. So now I need to continue to get to the twenty five impressive or beautiful albums and to complete the ten psych songs and yeah to get the 25 um beautiful album covers and the 10 psych i need to carry on carry on um, with some non-gatefold but still 2010 plus releases these are all still 2010 plus releases i'm losing the plot i'm losing the plot so this is the band toads of the short forest and from this, there's an instrumental track, um, which is called Toads of the Tall Desert um, on this. But yeah, again, impressive cover, beautiful cover um, and uh, psych song or track, um, Toads of the Tall Forest. with a pen to mark that off. Next, we've got a band um, shown a year or two ago, um, Altin Guns. So I think they're... I think they're from certainly from Europe, from Holland maybe, but they've got Turkish leanings. They've certainly got a Turk, at least one member is from Turkey, and therefore it's kind of um, Turkish psych um, in style. Um, but again, impressive cover, and um, the track I've chosen from that is Goka Dunya. Uh, where's that on there? That track there um, is uh, is my psych track what was that that was Altin gum okay next green seagull so a pop psych band as you can probably guess from the cover um this is their second album again i haven't shown this this is a recent find um i've seen this band live uh, a couple of times um really good um uh, three of them four of them um pop psych um, and sort of with some of the keys, keyboard driven as well, as well as guitar. Um, and as I said, this is their album from 2020. And I have chosen um, the last track, Belladonna, which was, I think, the, the B side or one of part of a double A single that they put out, Belladonna by Green Seagull. Next, we have the Greek Theatre. I think they're Swedish. Um, so this. Um, is uh, called Lost Out at Sea, and so you've got the nice sea seascape there through a window or through a picture frame. Um, and uh, they've done three albums. This is their first from memory, and um, I have actually picked August Streets, a beautiful um, sort of flowing um, pop psych tune. A lot of their stuff they do is folk dreamy folk psych i would say um the, say all three albums are very strong um uh, but from their first album i've picked august streets okay let me just cross that off next is another swedish band a sort of collective 
need to be careful with this, it's got a tricky cover. This is um, goat. Um, they kind of do um, world style, a lot of African rhythms going on. They're a bit of a um, an enigma or whatever. They kind of they wear masks and no one knows who they are. Um, so they perform that kind of um, psych um, rock folk sometimes with a with a heavy world African theme to it. So this is their album World Music. It's in a die cut die cut sleeve, but these things. If you're not careful, catch every time you put them back in a cover, so you have to be really careful. Um, and uh, the track I have picked from there is Run To Your Mama, um, which um, is on here. It's only a two minute song and it's nice and it's good. Um, they've got a live album uh, uh, fuzzed out in Europe. Um, where it's a 10 minute version of it which i think it's they really get into it um and it's uh, I, I would say that is probably more impressive but i picked that track run to your mama okay uh so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay we're gonna have more than ten so let me um let me choose of the last three that i've got um I will boom, 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 boom. I'll choose this one. Got a hell of it. So this is Jacko Gardner um, and Cabinet of Curiosities, which is again a bit of a sort of folk psych, um, modern folk psych. As I said, all of these albums are from 2000. The artist started making music and putting live albums out 10 to 2010 and beyond. Sorry to bore you with that. Um, and um the song i've chosen on here is um the song the opening song clear the air um so there's a, a little boy in a magic forest okay so i'm going to break the rule and have two bonus songs here just to finish this list off because i can't remember what the 12 what are my favorite 10. i have lost the plot i didn't think this was an end up so this is carousels a bit of a kind of pop psych garage psych um Band. So again, kind of a nice colourful summary psyche album and uh, my beating heart is the opening track um, again, which is a good um, driving um, but still quite mellow um, pop psych song with a bit of garage leaning um, or surf even leaning to it. So yeah, the carousels. And finally, a song I just showed in probably my last video, I think I might have shown it, but um, is um, another band, say, so started in the 2010s, Beautified Junkyards. This album, so it's a folk psych um, album with some layered textured folk psych, um, and it's mainly covers, and they do a nice cover of um, a, of a song. I'm not, I'm not familiar with the original, to be honest, but I think it is a cover, Yellow Roses. Um, so if anyone knows who the original did the original, let me know. Um, um, but um, yeah, Yellow Roses is a beautiful song on here. I think we're there. Um, so four threads responded to in one video, I hope. Um, if I failed, so what? <laughs> Cheers. Thanks. Bye.